Connecting security to the business is really about establishing a meaningful dialogue and a uh, kind of well understood value proposition to the rest of the business. I think one of the challenges a lot of organizations have is security has kind of been off in the corner, kind of an afterthought, and not necessarily connected with how the business operates or how decisions are made unless something bad happens and then they're brought in after the fact and a lot of times it's too late. So what we're talking about is the ability for people to engage with the business early, to have the business understand the relevance and really the contribution that information security makes to the business as a whole. You know, because one of the frustrations I have is that we have this habit of talking about information security risk and business risk as if they're two separate things and they're really the same. You know, it's just business risk and one dimension of that is the information security risk. I think the advice I give to anybody who joins this industry now is learn to communicate effectively at all levels through the organisation. You obviously have to communicate with your peers and the rest of the, of the organisation as regards training and awareness and putting your key messages across. But you also have to work out how you can communicate far more succinctly, far more effectively and far more in line with the business objectives of a, of a company rather than purely in terms of security. So learning the business impact of the work you do in a, on a daily basis is one of the most important things I would stress. The future of security is part of, security is going to be part of marketing, it's going to be part of sales, it'll be part of every other business unit. So it needs to become a variable in your business equation, figuring out how we're going to manage our business risk. And you can turn it from being a area you spend money on that you can actually turn into investment to generate revenue. There have been many cases out there where security actually drove value for a company and allowed the company to realize greater revenues because that relationship was marketed correctly and branded correctly. If you present, for example, to a board something about how many viruses or threats or worms or whatever it is, malware, how many billions of, of records compromised you talk in this way, they don't really grasp that and you can't blame them for that. The problem is it's highly technical and normally people in the board don't are techies. <laughs> they are not techies. So, you need to, to talk differently and I think the mistake was that people were technology focused alone and if you look at the, at the 36,000 foot view, it is maybe 10-15% technology and at least 80% people and process. Oh yes, yes, security people need to learn about the business and I'll give you a great example. When I first joined FedEx, you know, I worked for security obviously, so the first thing that I did is I actually went to the hub in Memphis and learn how the sorting works, uh, how you know how the airplanes come, when is it happening, right? Uh, I actually took a ride with a driver delivering packages to understand, you know, that side of the business. And and that gives us a great connection with the business people and you know they know who I am, I know who they are, I know where they're coming from, they want to make money, you know, and we want to protect FedEx or be any other big company so that they can make money, right? It's always the case that there's some sort of unexplained behavior or, I mean, it's the nature of our business that paranoia runs deep and, and it's there, it's like what you don't know will hurt you. Uh, and the real question is what do I not know? Uh, and that's a really great conversation for discussion because our, our industry is full of FUD and pitching the fear, uncertainty and doubt, but when you really talk to Here's my return on investment. My investment is in terms of people, in terms of money, in terms of time. Um, you, can, you, can, you can change the conversation to one where they're actually seeing a benefit as opposed to what do I not, you know, what can't I do, what can't I not know. It's hard to speak that language. It's, it's, if you walk into a situation where it is a CFO, certainly they're going to be talking the language of finance and you want to talk dollars and return. If you talk to a chief risk officer, they're much more interested in talking reputational legislation or legality, um, the effect of non-compliance and what that will mean to them to be able to continue to trade, or even worse, in their stock price if that reputation becomes public, a la we've seen in a number of cases locally where you know, an infosec issue has become a reputational issue, which has driven you know, business situations where people will no longer want to conduct business with that group.